Ron, how do you check for a good seal? Uh, you put your hands over your filtering area, with your filters on the side, and breathe in. When you breathe in, you're, you're, when, you, when you put your seal, your hands over, what you're doing is you're blocking the inward flow. The valve will be shut because you're breathing in. And it should create some kind of a small vacuum. You should feel no leaking or air coming inside. Okay, and then on the, then put your hand over the outer valve and, and then breathe out quickly. Yeah. And you should feel no air movement coming out of your... OSHA has a nice little YouTube um, uh, video that shows the basics, which that's what we're doing right now on testing. You can see it's a heavy mask. And you know it even stays on without a strap though. Yeah, yeah, it's a heavy, you know, it's a heavy mask, and it's even on. so, then the adhesive seal sticks that and every void to that mask. It fills that gap between the mask and the face, and that's a heavier mask. And even with that adhesive, it'll hold it on to your face. But you can remove it and apply it many, many times before the piece goes away. Going to be, how long does the seal last? And you can put it on, take it off many times. Yeah, I mean, it's it's surprising to me that it's, it's it, you know, sticks to the silicone so well. You know, that's what I wasn't sure of. If it would just stick to the cloth, like these cloth respirators, uh, yep. mainly. Uh, but, it, you know, you could see it stayed in place on the silicone here um, after I wore it once. Yeah.